Now I know how frustrating it can be when you feel tight, when you feel stiff, you're actually trying to loosen off your body, you're exercising, but actually you're just feeling like you're getting more restricted. This 15 minute exercise flow with me, I'm a physiotherapist, is really, really gonna help you. Now you want to try and do this every single day. Please let me know how you get on in the comments down below, but I know for me and for all of my patients, this has made such a difference. We're gonna be working through the whole body, all of the joints, also your fascia, that sheath that runs over your muscles, and we're also gonna be lengthening into your muscles as well. You're gonna feel amazing. Do this for you. It's just 15 minutes. Nothing feels better than feeling nice and mobile and free within your movement. So enjoy guys and yeah, let's do this. Okay, so we're starting off with our feet shoulder distance apart. Our breath is gonna come in through our nose then we're gonna sigh it out through our mouth. Arms hanging down by the side of your body. Deep breath in through the nose, draw the shoulders up to the ears. On the breath out, just let them fall. Breath in, draw up. Close the eyes if you want to. Breath out. Amazing. Last one. Breath in. And breath out. Amazing. Keep going with that same breathing control. We're just going to draw some circles now with our shoulders. Good. Last one here. And then changing direction. And you may get a few clicks and clunks here. As long as they're not painful, that is absolutely fine. One more. Amazing, now you're gonna take your right ear to your right shoulder, keep that left arm down, and then apply just a very small pressure down. You're not forcing it, it's literally just the weight of the hand. Great work, keeping going with those deep breaths in through the nose, sigh them out through the mouth. One more breath. Good, now you're gonna take your eye gaze down towards your right hip, almost like you're smelling your own armpit. And then from there, pull that chin down towards the chest. Again, just a very mild pressure here. And you should feel the stretch here. Great work, back into neutral. We're gonna go into the other side. This time the other arm is coming down. Drop your ear to your shoulder. And then just a slight pressure here. And especially first thing in the morning, I really feel this stiffness. Great work, one more breath cycle in through the nose. Sigh it out through the mouth. Now turn to the eye gaze to the hip. And then taking your chin closer towards your armpit. Keeping this other arm down, the shoulder is depressed. Amazing work. Okay, back into neutral. Shake those shoulders out. Come to the back of your mat for me. Micro bend through the knees. Take a deep breath in, reach the arms up and over the head, then dive forward all the way down towards the floor. Take a note of where you've got to. It may be here, that's fine. Take a note by the end of this stretch. You're gonna be a lot further. Just sway yourself side to side. Nod your head yes. Shake your head no. And walking forward into a plank position. From there, you're gonna push yourself up and over into a downward facing dog. And back to plank. Push back. And back to plank. One more of those. Now staying in this upside down V position, try and get your chest as close back towards your thighs as you feel you can. And you're just gonna walk your feet out side to side. Good work. Relax your head, neck and shoulders. We have four, three, two, and one. From there, you're coming back into a plank position. You're now gonna take yourself back, bend your knees down, and then into a shell stretch. Just reaching those fingertips as far away from the head as you can. Breathing here, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Good, then from there, digging the fingertips and raising the palms of the hands. You're just gonna do a very slight sway side to side. Feel a nice stretch down into the shoulder. 
the side of the waist. Now walking your hands over to your left and keeping your chest nice and low. Breathe. Amazing work. Bringing yourself back into neutral. Keep that chest nice and low and then walk the hands over to the right. Once you're as far as you feel you can go, Hold there, calm deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth, relax your head, neck and shoulders. Good, back into neutral, we have one more here. You're now gonna take your right hand, feed it underneath your left and try and get your ear as close to the mat as possible. From there, walk that right hand out as far as possible and the left hand as far forward as you can. Really concentrating on that deep breathing control in through the nose, then pursed lips, sigh out through the mouth. Last breath cycle here. And onto the other side, reaching the right hand forward, feed that left arm underneath and aim to get your left ear as close to the mat as possible. Good work. Walk those right fingertips further forward. Left arm over to the right side. And breathe. Back into neutral, amazing work. You're now gonna bring yourself up onto all fours. Your hands are directly underneath your shoulders, same with your knees and your hips, and spread those fingertips for me. We're gonna do some of our cat camel stretches, leading with the eye gaze. So your eye gaze is gonna to go to your knees, follow through with the upper, then the mid, then the lower back, tucking that tailbone under. And now lead with the eyes. Eye gaze in between the hands, following through with the mid, and the lower back. Deep breath in, leading upper back, mid back, lower back. Sigh that breath out, upper back, mid back, lower back. One more in each direction, eye gaze to knees, follow through, breath in, upper back, mid back, lower back. Sigh that breath out, eye gaze to the hands, follow through, upper back, mid back, lower back. We're going to change this now by leading with the back. So we're going to curl our spine under, lower back, mid back, upper back, eye gaze to knees. Again, we start off the movement with the lower back, then the mid back, then the upper back, eye gaze to the hands. One more, starting that movement with the lower back, curl under, mid back, upper back, eye gaze to knees. Again, starting off with the lower back, the mid back, and the upper back. Eye gaze in between the hands. You're going to keep going with that, but this time, introducing some lateral movements, so some swaying side to side, whatever feels good for your body. All of our bodies are going to react in different ways. We're all going to have stiff areas, tight areas, areas of previous injuries. And you just want to honor that. Find those areas that feel a little bit sticky and softly, slowly work into mobilizing them. As long as there's no sharp pains, I just want calm, deep breaths in through the nose, sighing them out through the mouth. Good work. Close your eyes if you want to. That really helps me. And then swaying forward over the hands a little bit and back over the knees. Great, great work. 
From here, you're gonna bring yourself down into lying. My favorite part of the stretch. We're gonna come all the way down with a Pilates controlled roll down so our legs are out in front of us. You're spreading your butt cheeks a little. Hook one foot over the other, arms out in front of you. You're a puppet being pulled up by a string. Take a deep breath in. On the breath out, sink yourself back into a C shape. Then slow and controlled, lower yourself all the way down. Amazing work, okay? Bring one knee at a time in towards your chest. Hug in nice and tight, and you're just gonna do a few circles with your knees. Again, really thinking about that breathing control, just slowing everything down today. If you're doing this first thing in the morning, like me, this is such a nice way to start your day and end your day. Okay, changing direction with those circles. The tighter you hug in, the further up the back you're gonna feel it, looser will be lower. Okay, one hand on each knee, draw the knees into the chest. And then you're just gonna draw circles in opposite directions to mobilize into the hips. Good work. Changing direction for me. Really great stuff, guys. Okay, from here, hugging your right knee into your chest, your left knee comes into a bent position. And I just want you to try and get that right knee as close towards the chest as possible. Good, relax those shoulders. Now only if you feel you can, lengthen that left leg along the mat and flex the foot, pushing the left knee down in towards the mat. Great work, you're now gonna take your right knee over towards your left shoulder, it's a tiny movement. And back into neutral again. Interlock your fingers behind the back of your right thigh. Take a deep breath in on the breath out. Straighten out as far as you feel you can. It may be here, that is fine. Keep your knee in towards your chest while you do this. And you may get a few little shakes, that's normal. Okay, and then from there, I want you to take the leg to 90 degrees and straighten out as far as you can. It may be here, that is absolutely fine. It may be here. Just take note of where you are. We're aiming to loosen you up gradually, slowly, and in a pain-free way. You're now gonna point your toes, then flex your toes. Point, and flex. Four, three, two, and one. Great work. One last little breath out. And draw the knee back down again. Now take that right knee in the right hand and bring it as far out as you feel you can into a nice groin stretch. Breathing here. Keep this left hip down. Don't sway over. Place your hand onto your hip if that helps. Now your left hand is coming onto your right knee and we're going into a rotation stretch. Your right arm is out to your side, looking towards your right hand, and then just as far as you feel you can to the left without your right shoulder blade leaving the mat. Good, breath in through the nose. Breath out through the mouth. Two more, breath in. And out. Last one. Okay, drawing that knee back into neutral. One last hug in. Amazing, bend that left knee, and then changing sides. Hugging that left knee in as tight as you can. Good work, relax those shoulders. Amazing, now only if you want to, straighten out the right leg, flex the right foot, and push that right knee down in towards the mat. You'll feel a bit of a hip flexor stretch here or hip flexor activation. Okay, hugging behind the back of the left thigh. That was hard to say. Take a deep breath in, on the breath out, straighten the leg as far as you feel you can. Keeping that left thigh towards the chest. Breathe. Amazing work. From there, bringing that leg, that thigh, closer to 90 degrees and then straighten out as far as you can. So your elbows are gonna be straight now. 
Good work. Remember, wherever you get to is absolutely perfect. So wherever you're at today, we're not comparing to anyone else. We're gonna flex and we're gonna point. Breath in and breath out. Two more. Last one. Great, great work. Bring that knee back in, left hand onto the left knee and open out into the groin. Really great work. While you're here, I want you to make sure that that right hip is staying down. We're not rotating over to the left and our right foot is still flexed with our right knee actively pushing down into the mat. Last stretch coming across the body now. Your left arm is out to your side, looking towards your left hand. Amazing work, you guys. This is the last one. Breathe. Relax, enjoy. Two more breath cycles. In. And out. Last one in. And down. You're coming back into neutral. Amazing work. Hug your knees into your chest. My favorite thing, rolling like a ball. Just massaging out that back. Incredible. Up into standing. One last dive down. Take a deep breath in. On the breath out, dive your body down, feet shoulder distance apart. And you should be further than you were at the beginning of this workout, of this stretch, I should say. Sway your body side to side. Relax, enjoy. Hug behind the back of the thighs. Float that body weight forward again. Take a deep breath in and on the breath out, slowly segmentally stack up the spine. Lower back, mid back, upper back. Wow, oh my gosh, that feels amazing. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed that as well. Oh, I feel like a new woman. I'm so proud of you guys, well done, and I'll see you tomorrow for another one.